Well, the physicality of the game. You know, we got to get stronger. Uh, we got to get more physical. Uh, you know, that team showed us uh, that. You know, that's when you're playing against these elite teams. Uh, and you're playing against a talented team like that, it's going to be a physical game. And uh, we didn't match that tonight. You know, I thought they uh, really got into us defensively. Uh, we felt them on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, I don't think they felt us on the uh, when they were on offense. You know, the rebounding, you know, we knew that uh, Adams was a monster uh, in there on the boards. We needed help. Our bigs needed help. Uh, they get 17 offensive boards uh, and just, you know, uh, defensively uh, took us out of what we wanted to uh, to run, you know, um, only six free throws, you know, so we're not getting uh, to the paint or getting to the rim. Uh, and they play their game. You know, this is what they do. Uh, they offensive rebound. Um, they turn you over, and they score off of that. And, you know, all three of those things that we knew – uh, we had to uh, do uh, good at they won. So we didn't execute tonight. And, uh, and again, just shows us where we are. When you look at the free throws and you saw the discrepancy, does that kind of illustrate the way the teams attack the rim and really what team did and what teams did? Yeah, well, uh, you know, one, one of our goals is to win the free throw line, be aggressive, get to the basket. And, uh, you know, tonight, uh, you know they won. They won that game. We knew that those guys, uh, Westbrook, Mel, uh, Anthony, and Paul, all draw fouls. Uh, we didn't do that tonight. You know they turned us over uh, in our pick and rolls, and um, uh, I thought we settled at time. We didn't have the ball movement early in the game, and I, th I thought that kind of carried over uh, into the second half, where we just everything was stagnant. Everything was very hard. We weren't getting any really. Uh, c clean looks. Uh, a couple times in the first half, we did. We did. We missed the shots, but we didn't stay with uh, the good ball movement. Only uh, 18 assists tonight. Nate, did you feel like Victor kind of got caught up in it? He was 9 of 26 from the field. Yeah, I thought. I mean, yeah, no question. Uh, thought we settled, and you know, again, you know, again, you know, our guys. Uh, plan in this game, this type of game, and plan on national television. Again, you have to control your emotions, and that was some of the things that I was, uh, you know, talking about before the game. Where, you know, you get on this type of stage, and you, all of a sudden you, you you start playing for you and not for playing together, which is what we've done. You know, we've done a good job of that. Uh, we got away from that tonight. Um, it's one game. You know, we've had a good stretch here. Uh, come back tomorrow and get ready for uh, Detroit on Friday. Nate, you guys did a good job of containing Russ, Melo, and Paul George, but Stephen Allen Adams got loose on you. Many times he was getting the ball in the paint with, without a body on him. What, were, what was the problem in that situation? Well, I, I mean, I, it, was a, it seemed like it was a million plays with him involved, and I don't think it was so much him without a body. I mean, that's a big man. And, uh, you know, we just uh, – he had us sealed underneath the basket. He was going over the top of us. He was going around us. Uh, you know, he – that's what he does. We knew that. And uh, just the physicality of the game, he, he – really destroyed us in the paint you know so it's, it's no no other uh, reason other than he was stronger more physical and wanted it uh more what you think about pg's play tonight having him back here would you i thought you know he he did a good job of uh he didn't guard um victor the first game you know tonight he guarded victor did a solid job of staying in front and, uh, you know, making it tough. You know, uh, Victor saw some double teams tonight. And uh, I thought, you know, because of that, that defense and uh, being aggressive, uh, you know, there at times he tried to play before the double team uh, could get there. You know, he wasn't having success getting to the rim. Uh, so he was, you know, trying to uh, create some things from the perimeter. But, you know, Paul just, I thought he played within himself. You know, he didn't come out and force anything. I thought defensively, 
uh, you just try to stay in front of Victor. When you rallied from 11 points down late in the fourth to bring it within one, I know Victor had those two back-to-back -back big shots there. Did that seem almost like you guys were getting into a groove but just didn't have enough time necessarily to find that rhythm that you needed to completely come back? Yeah, you know, we get within uh, two. I think it's 94-96. And, uh, you know, Thad has an opportunity to tie the game and miss one of the free throws. So you're right there uh, and with, with an opportunity. And, um, you know, they come down and... I, forget what happened, whether they got fouled or they scored to go back up three. And, um, you know, our timeout, we didn't execute. They they did a good job of switching and, and blowing up a play. And uh, I think Paul came up with the steal. Kind of building off that, is that what happened there when you guys were up three? They just kind of blew up what what you were hoping to get when Victor kind of struggled? To they get did. In? They, they, they uh, was grabbing and holding and you know, things that you do. You know, you got to run through that contact. You got to play through that. And I uh, was able to deny and force a steal in that situation. And uh, they blew that play up. Paul stole it. And, uh, you know, you lose that possession. Have you ever seen a block charge reviewed and handled? No. When it's not a question of whether the guys are restricted there? No. I have not. When did that become? Uh, I I have not. Okay. No, yeah. Uh, I'll take it though. Um, but no. You've had the win streak. You've beat some big teams. Paul George has come in here. Are you happy that uh, maybe the distractions of kind of all of this have kind of gone by, and now you can get back to kind of building this team and grooming it? We're going to do that regardless. But yeah, you know, um, you know, we we had a good stretch here. Uh, where we uh, took care of uh, our first with three home games and and uh, we we dropped this game and you know again this for me this season is about building uh, this group and we've done some good things uh, but tonight they showed us that we got work to do we we, we got a lot of growth uh, that has to happen uh, with our team and we have to continue to build and work and improve and uh, you know these guys. Uh, have done that, you know. So we we take this and we we'll look at film tomorrow and look at ourselves and try to get ourselves ready uh, for Detroit on Friday before we go uh, out on the road. Nate, is there anything in particular that you take from this ball game that you're happy with uh, in terms of performance and moving forward in this season? Well, it was a lesson. Uh, we got beat tonight, and we got beat in just about every way uh, possible out there. They were more physical, uh, you know, defensively. They they uh, initiated the pressure. Uh, they turned us over. Um, you know, offensively, they attacked us. They won the rebounding. You know, so we, there's something that uh, uh, you learn from. And, um, you know, as as, as you know, well as this team has played and we've done some good things, you know, some of these games like this, you know, put thing put reality, you know, it's a reality check to let us know that okay, we we, we got some a lot of growing to do and uh we'll get there. We'll get there. We're not there, but we'll get there. Any positives though that you take from it? That's what we take from it. <laughs> yeah, that's what we take from it. I think it was a combination of everything. I think the fact that, you know, we didn't do a good job of boxing out, you know, guards didn't help the bigs, you know, the, whatever the case may have been, you know, that could have started our transition and maybe get easier looks. You know, in the half court say I thought we was a little bit stagnant. Um, but, you know, I was pleased for the most part, you know what I mean? We just missed some easy shots. You know, we could have kept our turnovers down a little bit, but... You know, it's just, we've been playing the same way, you know, over the last three games. You know, I haven't looked at the film, but it, it felt that way out there. Did it feel like you guys were getting the fast break opportunities you normally would have liked to have? Well, it starts with our rebounding. You know, we don't get the rebounding. There ain't no fast break. So, you know, I thought Adams did a good job of, you know, keeping, you know, the boards alive and being able to kick out, you know. But it's, it's, it's tough, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I think the guards got to do a better job of helping Miles. And Miles is going to help us because Miles played a great defensive game. You know, we got to help him out. You know, you spend all that energy getting one stop, and then, you know, they had to reset the shot clock and play defense again. And I think that was, like, the biggest key of the game. 
you know, we cut half of those offensive rebounds down, you know, maybe we get, I don't know, between six to ten points, you know, the margin of error is so, so small in this league, you know, it comes down to something like that. Your guys' focus has been so narrow here on this homestand, but it closes on Friday, and if you can take Friday's game, you go 5-1 and one on it and a chance to make a statement here at home. Yeah, very good. You know, I thought, you know, we we done a good job of protecting home court. You know, we want to finish it out, like you said, against Detroit. Um, you know, and just and before we go back on the road, but, you know, I'm, I'm pleased the way we've been playing. You know, we've been playing really good, some good basketball. We can't let this game affect us. The guys, you know, whenever I'm in a position where I need to help my – you know, being the help side, it's almost like he takes me out the play by uh, smashing early. And, um, you know, he puts himself and his, his team in a good position to get rebounds. So that's something that, uh, you know, we, we all take vision of this back in the situation. But he did a hell of a job in the glass tonight. You guys talked about keeping this as just any other game. Did it feel like any other game out there? Yeah, um, it just felt like, it, it felt like another game to me, man. You know, I mean, with the exception of the crowd, and the crowd was really into it tonight, and, you know, it made it feel like more of a playoff atmosphere. But other than that, it was just another game. Your guys' offense has been flowing so well here on this homestand, and it did in the fourth quarter, but in those first three, did you feel like it was just missing something? Mm, we just, I think the ball got a little stagnant at times. You know, we didn't, um, we, I don't think we spaced the floor well enough, and, you know, we're watching on film tomorrow. You guys haven't focused on this, but is it nice at all to have the storylines of what this game has brought behind you guys? In what context? Like, what do you mean? Not worrying about a player coming back or, or Paul's return game. Um, I don't think that played too much into it, man. It's, it's another game. That's how we that's how we looked at it. I feel like that's how we played it tonight. So, um, I, mean, I, I guess, yeah. An opportunity on Friday to have a 5 and one home stand. What needs to go right against Denver? Or uh, Detroit. Um, keep our offense flowing, you know, and can, you know, win, the, win the game on the, on the glass. Simply? Uh, just mixing it up, uh, crowding. Uh, couldn't really get downhill. Trapping, just mixing it up, doing a whole bunch of different stuff, switching, showing. Um, they just did a, did a great job defensively all together as a team. And uh, unfortunately, we couldn't figure it out down the stretch tonight. But, you know, the beauty of basketball is just one game. So, I mean, uh, that game's over with now. We play on Friday. So that's what our mindset is. Six free throw attempts, does that speak to a lack of aggressiveness or something else? I'm um, a little bit of both. I mean, uh, you know, some, you know, we, we might could have got downhill a little bit better, attacked a little bit better, some no calls. Um, it's a part of the game. It is what it is. Um, you know, like I said, we just got to learn from it and move on. That said, the offense not flowing. You guys weren't getting to the line yet. You gave yourselves at a least chance, a chance yeah. at the end. Yeah, yeah, we had a chance to win at the end still. Um, uh, I'm not surprised, though. We got a lot of adversity in this room. Uh, we just keep fighting, keep playing. Uh, obviously, could have played better. Would like to have played better, but, you know, it happens. You know what I mean? It's just one game. Uh, I got to learn from it, get better, um, and look forward to Friday. I know this isn't something that you've necessarily focused on, but your matchups one-on-one -on -one with Paul George, I know something the fans like watching. What did you think of the battle that you two guys uh, went back and forth on when you were on each other tonight? I'm not sure. I know he did a great job on me defensively. Uh, first time I had a defender like that, you know, guard me since I've been on this team and, uh, you know, just trying to deny me long uh, can move his feet. So uh, it was something new for me. and. Um, I'll be ready if there's anybody else like that out there. So I uh, just got to continue to learn from that and continue to keep getting better. Uh, we still gave ourselves a chance to win. It was a tough loss for us, but again, it's only one game, and uh, we're optimistic, definitely. We just got to continue to keep getting better.